Okay, now what we're going to explain is how to make sure that nobody has moved or you haven't bumped the tripod during the middle of the shoot. So the way we do that, and we didn't do it in the first one because we wanted to show it separately, and, and that is that we want to shoot across somewhere in a room, pick a point that you can hit twice. So I'm going to go change to the uh, cross mode, and I'm going to shoot across in the screw of that outlet. You see that? So I just tap a point. Now I'm going to go back to lines and auto fill it. And what we're going to do is quickly shoot the countertop, and then we're going to shoot another cross in the same place, and it should not have moved. So I start out with auto fill it, and I hit my two points here, like we did before. This is a good thing to practice, by the way. You might want to, after we shoot this, put this on um, pause and go back and uh, practice shooting this countertop a few times, if you haven't done that already. Because um, practice makes perfect. Notice that I can auto fill it all the straight lines. And here we are, two points on the, the upper there, or on the uh, full height. Now I switch back to um, leave that open and start a new line for my scribe wall. Same method we did before. Except this time I don't have the bump in the wall. Again, as a reminder, three inches out of the corner, drill the actual corner, and three or so inches out of the corner. Now we can uh, fill it and sharp fill at the corners, these two. Rotate the joint so it looks nice and straight. Now, I'm going to change the color just so you can see the difference. I'm going to change it to red and I'm going to go back to cross and I'm going to shoot another cross right on top of the same one I did before. Now these should be within the tolerance of the laser um, apart from each other. If you look at the drawing now, it looks like it's only one cross. So now I'm going to bring this in the middle here, zoom in on it, and wow, it still looks like one cross. It still looks, oh, it's starting to come apart now. Zoom in some more. Now I can actually check a distance between these two, and as you can see, I'm only, um, uh, let's see, 32nd of an inch apart, which is good. That means that nothing happened, nothing moved. Okay, now we're going to go back to the big drawing. And what I'm going to do is, if you, if you want to show this a little bit here, I'm going to actually just nudge this tripod right here and like that. Not much, just a little bit. But now I'm going to go back and put another cross in another color. Let's pick um, orange. Select that. And and draw another cross there. I'm hitting the same place. Now, if you look at the zoom in, you'll see very obviously that the, um, the distance between the newest cross and the old one is actually um, almost an inch, 0.926 inches. Now, if that happens to you, file new, page new, whatever, start over, something happened, something moved. So whenever somebody kicks a tripod or it moves in the middle of the, of the shoot, start over. This is a great way to test that. You should simply shoot across before you start shooting the drawing and one after. If it's within a sixteenth or less, it's okay, it hasn't moved. Okay, so that's how we do a cross before and a cross after.